Hello guys, hello YouTube, and I uh, wanted to bring you a, a video today, kind of highlight uh, uh, my nostalgic, my fan love for uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark, and uh, I've seen a lot of um, different uh, arc reactors, they're on, you know, on, uh, just all across the internet, and I've done a lot of research trying to find out you know which ones kind of look the best which ones are look most like the movie prop and I kind of decided on one and today in this video I'm going to show you kind of what I bought how it goes together the whole unboxing you know take you through the whole unboxing uh, process and see what you think about it and maybe you can come to the conclusion that's what you want to buy as well um, I know there's a lot of, I've seen a lot on eBay, I've seen some on Amazon, uh, the Halo Project is another good uh, website to go to, um, arcreactors.com is another one. But this one's called Posh Store, uh, P-A-C-H, the Posh Store.com, and um, this was $99. And it does ship from like Hong Kong, um, $22 to ship it to me, so $121. And um, it's for the, the quality that I saw and you know the price, I thought those two intersected really well. There's a lot that are like, you know, almost $300, and they just don't really look up to par with how this one is, the simplicity of it, how it works, and everything like that. So i take you through this unboxing. Let's get started. Okay, this is what the uh, package looks like. And came just like this, bubble wrapped, and uh, kind of the uh, picture that it showed online of kind of how it looked was just like in the uh, movie Iron Man, when Pepper Potts gives uh, Tony Stark, you know, the... Uh, his first arc reactor after he got back and upgraded it, didn't need it anymore, and told her to throw it away. And she put it in a case. Well, when he got down to his workshop and just seen it sitting on the desk, it was wrapped in brown paper and uh, had a note from Pepper on it. Basically, how this showed on on the uh, on the internet on their website. So they might have just done that brown paper just for uh, the aesthetics of it. If they, you know, just for pictures, maybe or maybe it actually just shipped that way. So we'll see. does say on the box it's not brown paper it is a brown box said brown paper but it does say from pepper on it that's a that's a cool little touch so let's go ahead and open this up that back first impressions foam inside it looks really nice this out Let's see it's like it's all gonna want to come out oh, there it goes I say it's all gonna come out one piece maybe I might tip it upside down but it looks like it's kind of holding together if I just pull the whole entire thing out like so this I'm trying to see how it looks like the two halves separate so I'm gonna put it down like this separate it like that and there you can see the glass case part of it 
I'd seen on a little demo that I don't know if it's a reviewer or someone that was doing it for their website, but there is a YouTube video out here showing how they assemble it, and I may have to kind of pull the video up to, um, you know, if I need a few little details of how to put things together. But they were showing how this has got, if you can see that on camera, it's got this greenish tint. So it looks like glass, but it's actually acrylic that this case is. So it's definitely something a little different. But it gets the, uh, definitely gets the presence and the appeal behind it for sure. base wire will tuck up underneath there this device right here the bronze it's gonna help you allow you to screw the uh, stand that holds the arc reactor into this ring right here and you can see in the camera the little small little allen head black head allen heads and it's got two really small screws on the back and one of the screws is actually out of it and as well as um, the other one was there but it was just still loose um, I used a bit called a CR hyphen V15. I don't, I've got a, like a bunch of little small adapters and it's like the smallest Allen head bolt I've ever seen. And, uh, just a quick few little turns, um, and got it back tight. So no big deal. And take, slide this. There's no ring in here. I'm not sure what that's for, but we may look into that. I don't know. I don't see that like groove goes anywhere for it, so. Yeah, so it's got that greenish style tint to it. Definitely not uh, glass, it's uh, acrylic, so, but it definitely gives off the impression that it is, and that's really cool. So, so now, yeah, I'm not sure what that's for. Um, I don't remember seeing any seals being put on this, so um, it might just be an extra piece. Here's the arc reactor. And you got this holder right here. And this end right here is what's going to screw into that base. But, uh, these all are 100% um, handmade, so they do have the you know the possibility of having a few flaws here and there. Nothing major. Um, they're all custom machines, so. Uh, but the, the ring that. The uh, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. So, nice, nice uh, machine piece. And this piece that moves. Might have to re loosen some of the bolts or just kind of move it in general. But it's kind of nice that it's tight so you, it's not going to move around on you. But threads right here is what was going to thread into this right here. So, sure that is tight there's that piece got your wiring right here it's so just a USB and then you have your USB connection for the arc reactor as well as um, 
basically just the the um, demo um, just for you know prop looks and stuff like that this is what was actually would screw into the chest plate in Tony's uh, chest area for it to work so this doesn't actually function as anything it just there for just show to make it look you know as close to the movie as possible and then this is already 100% assembled, so we don't have to put it together, which is another perk. And the prices of the ones that are not assembled versus the ones that are on a lot of other websites, they drastically go up in price. So for this one to be assembled already, I thought that was really cool. Major. Here's a quick little show of it. Really, really, really cool metal pieces as well so and then these two out of the way and then got your wire in here and uh, do this to keep these so I can kind of retighten it back up for the amount I don't need but uh, Putting this through here. And you can probably look at the movie and kind of do the orientation because you've got one screw right here, one screw right here, but then there's a cluster of four right here. So you could probably position it um, how you want it, how it'll look, you know, the most movie accurate of how they have it in there if you want to go that far in detail. Um, and you can see others. One there, one there, and then four there. So I'm probably just going to end up putting mine, the four exactly at the bottom, most likely. Something like that. But uh, I'm not going to use these foam base because you kind of have to put stuff down. I don't want to take a chance of scratching it up. So I will put that down like so and then this runs through the base of it through this column and uh, make sure they have this running through here And it's just going to stick out just enough. Like that. Put that there. And then we're going to take our wire and run that through the bottom. So here's your base here. And uh, the one that I saw, they must have kind of redid it um, in the video. This electrical plug was kind of hard to get through this. It was almost like it was kind of like if you uh, notch it this way and notch it this way to there's four individual flaps that's what it kind of looked like and he was pushing it through there um, but this one you know obviously they've probably uh, you know redefined it and everything like that made changes to it to where it just slides right in it's a lot easier so but that wiring just hides underneath there so it's not sitting on it which is a really nice touch I'm going to flip this over, pull the wiring out, spin this around, this will be facing towards you since this is the back, you don't want to see that. So then, you will uh, attach this, being very careful not to drop it or scratch it. Plug this in there. Set this up and bring it to that. It'll probably be the easiest thing to do. And then just bring back through it. Plug this in. If you 
like that, it's a tough, it's a tight connection, so that's definitely a good thing. And then, pick this up, hold this, and we're going to run this up into the base a little bit. And fold this through. See, it kind of hides the wiring away. And then screw this on. Get where it sits on there. And there it stops. Tighter, so it's centered. And there you go. Readjusting the wire down here at the bottom. You can see that. Trying to maybe push that back up in there a little bit to where it makes the curve underneath. And you could probably slightly, you know, adjust this, push this back in a little bit more. But it looks like it hides it decently well. Kind of does stick out a little bit more than what I would like, but I mean it's still going to be hidden. You're decently not going to not going to really see it, especially with the the angle and the plate that comes out. Um, the design that they had on their website kind of didn't show that as as bad, so. Uh, but it's still, like I said, it's not bad. So she angled this up a little bit more because it's going to stand up a little bit better. I'll do the wiring it real fast. It's not sitting on it. Let's see here. Like that. to any side you want then hold the base and we're gonna tilt this up a little bit more and that's when that uh, you also have to clear the back of the case as well so definitely tilt that a little bit forward and that should get rid of being able to even see that connector then so it's not gonna matter then Put the case on, and that's about it. I'll get uh, this plugged in, and we will uh, test it out. And uh, any of the newer style, uh, uh, newer style of uh, phones have these. Uh, you know, just a standard box and you just plug it into that. I also have a power strip behind me on the TV where it's got a power strip that has specific little USBs and that's where I'm gonna plug mine in. But just to demo it, because the cord is not long enough for on this table, um, have got it plugged in. And now, one of the main features of this that's different than all of the rest I've seen is how simple it is. If you don't want anything real complicated, Go this route, I promise you'll enjoy it. Um, all the other ones seem to have just the arc reactor. Some of them have um, remotes that are like pretty, uh, can be pretty complicated. I mean, it's got a lot of different settings and pulse um, settings it can do on it. It's just, it has a lot of settings you can do and I know Probably most basic people are not going to want to have that many options. It'd be fun to play with them, but I don't really have any interest in them. Um, so I kind of went this route. Um, you know, batteries eventually go out or you lose the remote and then you can't operate it anymore. So this one, you will not regret it. It's so simple. You simply knock on the top of the case and it turns it on. 
So it's got the your basic mode to where it just stays on, powered up. If you knock on it one more time, it has the effect of pulsing, almost like a heart. And so this is one of the features or one of the modes that was on like the other models that when they had the remote. And I mean, there's some that can go just, you know, crazy in how they light up the lights and go on and off the duration, and speed, the brightness. I mean, a lot of things you can change. So if you want to go those routes, look into that. And then after that, if you want it off, knock one more time and it goes off like so simple in its design. I mean, yes, you only have two different settings and that's it. But to me, that's all I would ever want with this. Like, you know, I don't need to change the brightness and the, you know, the speed of everything, just an on and then a pulsing is perfect. So, that, so yeah, if you want to go that route, it's called the posh store, P A C H and then store. So the posh store.com. And I've seen that they do have the Mark one. They do have, um, it's the newer like V style, um, arc reactor that he has. I do know they have that as well. So definitely check them out. Um, I know they're on Facebook. They're on, I believe they are on, uh, they do have some YouTube videos. So definitely check them out. Thanks guys.